We're in the final stretch of March Madness, and that special time of year that turns every office into an underground gambling organization. Gambling? Who's saying anything about gambling? It's not gambling when you know you're going to win. If you're watching this and it's not March, don't worry because this is pertinent pretty much anytime. Today it's Daryl's March Market Madness plus what he's really mad about. You're Daryl, right? First one is don't foul out. If you overprice your house, even in this market, or if it shows badly and you're getting no showings, and if you're a buyer and you're not pre-approved for your loan and it gets denied three and a half weeks later, don't get hit by a pitch. I mean, the market is still moving. It's moving fast in some price points in some areas, so keep your eye on the ball and swing for the fences, if you know what I mean. Just don't overprice your house, or you'll be sitting on the 50-yard line for a while, if you know what I mean. Wait, Weren't you just talking about basketball? You can easily strike out if you're not paying attention. You know, you could walk away with nothing after all that work. Um, Final Four, remember? It keeps getting more and more competitive as we go. Properties priced correctly, $3 million and under here in the South Bay, Los Angeles, are having a lot of activity, and several have multiple offers. That equals competition is fierce. Just fierce. You know? Timeouts are short. So if there's a problem, you have to regroup quickly and get back into the game. And everyone wants to advance the next bracket. Buyers want to get an acceptance or at least a counter offer, and sellers want to get multiple offers. That's how you advance. And I know you're hoping for a home run. If you're selling your home, and you hope for a strong offer and a fast, easy closing. Home run! Make up your mind already. If you're a buyer, you hope your offer gets accceptед and the home inspection isn't horrible and your appraisal comes in at purchase price and there isn't a ton of termite damage and the sewer line doesn't have a tree growing in it and your dad doesn't piss off the home inspector and your loan gets approved and the interest rate you locked in doesn't expire and your loan documents come in on time and you don't get canceled by the seller because they're late and there's no damage to the house since you were last time there and the seller didn't take all the window coverings and the appliances and that beautiful tree out front didn't blow down last night in that big windstorm that's a slam dunk or is it a buzzer beater <laughs> either way do you know approximately how many pages of disclosure we currently have no i didn't think so how could you it's a lot either way this could end in tears happy or sad speaking of mad do you know what daryl is mad about dude you're daryl why do you keep talking about yourself in third person right Daryl is upset when local home sellers hire an agent without really knowing what their marketing suite entails. I mean, do you know what your agent is going to do for you exactly? Other than hold an open house one weekend and maybe put it out the beach reporter once and put it on the MLS, Zillow, and the Redfins, maybe even homes.com and realtor.com and possibly Trulia. Uh, by the way, that's automatic once it's an MLS. Agent has nothing to do with it. Seriously now, it upsets me. When a home seller hires an agent and is immediately and unknowingly punished because they hired someone who's not keeping up with the market, they overpriced it, and they're not keeping up with all the digital forms of marketing and the benefits of home staging and launch parties, I can go on. Wait, I actually did. I wrote about it in my 14th chapter marketing plan. Thank you. Which is a book, a number one Amazon best-selling book called Dwelling Selling. How the internet made selling a house in the South Bay easy and other funny stories. It's 14 chapters of pitfalls to avoid exactly how I do things step by step, what and who to watch out for, an extensive list of my digital marketing suite, which is always changing when new tech shows up. It's not even in the book because a lot of things have changed recently, and so have I. Bottom line, you deserve more. You deserve better and enjoy the end of March Madness and play ball. I give up. Oh, next week, see my bold 2024 adjusted market predictions versus everyone else's.